How to do your own amazing Brazilian wax? One buy the right wax. I've tried a few, and have finally found a wax that works so perfectly, I will never experiment with another for as long as I live, Gigi Brazilian Body Hard Wax. It comes in two formulas, one for microwave use and one to use with a wax warmer, which is sold separately. While you're at it, buy some applicator slash popsicle sticks, I prefer the large, slanted kind and find your tweezers to make sure nobody is home i'd rather have a drunk mugshot released online for the world to see than have a single soul walk in on me waxing my vagina as you'll find it's an emotional experience a journey between you the nerve endings in your crotch and nobody else three heat the wax at one point in college i had neither a microwave nor a wax warmer so I heated the aluminum container in a shallow pot of boiling water. This was a terrible idea. I recommend investing in a wax warmer, as it'll keep the wax consistently heated while you work, and I find it to be less messy. 4. Make sure your hair is the right length. Aim for around one quarter inch of growth. Too short, and the wax won't be able to grab the hair enough to pull it out at the root. Too long and you'll be in massive amounts of pain, because you have little to no control over which tangled and unruly hairs the wax grabs onto as you apply. If the hair is longer than a one quarter inch, trim it shorter with an electric trimmer. I like the Chic Hydro Silk Trim Style Razor. It is a razor on one end and a battery powered trimmer on the other, it's sort of like cat dog. 5. Pre-clean. Either with soap and water in the shower, drying thoroughly, or with Gigi's pre hunt pre epilation cleanser. It's mostly isopropyl alcohol, so it'll evaporate away without having to rinse. It helps the wax really grip the strands of hair. 6. Stir and test the wax. You should be doing this constantly while you work. Again, the wax warmer is best for keeping a consistent, safe temperature. Take an applicator stick and stir the pot, Scrape off excess wax and dab the inside of your wrist to test, you'll know if it's too hot. 7. Smear the wax on your hair. Work in sections, I start with the inner size and work in and back. That's when the makeup mirror on the floor starts to come in handy. This is so weird talking about this on the internet. For the hard wax, apply as thick as you would peanut butter on a slice of bread. Each smear should be about an inch wide and up to three inches long, and always in the direction of the hair growth. Let the wax sit for about 30 seconds to harden a bit. You should be able to hear a tapping noise when you hit it with your fingernail. That's what's great about this wax, it's basically hard plastic, and once it's on, there's only one way to get it off. 8. Rip. Pull the section off in the opposite direction of the hair growth. Do your best to try to hold the skin beneath the section taut while you pull away to lessen the pain. It will be excruciating, that I can guarantee. I think it was Carl Jung who said, there is no coming to consciousness without pain, so this will be a transformative experience for sure. Also, remind yourself that the wax will come off no other way, it's not going to melt away under warm water if you change your mind. There is no numbing cream, or spray or a pill that will dull the sensation, either, so don't waste your money. But hey, when you're all done, this will only heighten your sense of accomplishment. The most brutal areas, I find, are the most sensitive, so, the ones that feel the best during sex. The back region hurts the least. 9. Repeat steps 7 and 8 for as long as you can stand it. Remember, the back hurts the least. So it's all downhill after you defuzz around the lobbya. Tweeze any stray hairs. Yeah, that part sucks, too. 10. Remove wax residue. You'll probably still have small pieces of wax stuck in your crevices when you finish. Gigi's Wax Off Wax Remover Lotion on a cotton ball will take care of those. I use the in-shower mittens to prevent ingrown hairs by exfoliating the waxed areas. And I wear high-cut leotards two tight jeans, and stand on glass-floored observation decks as much as possible over the following three weeks to make the horrifying experience worthwhile. Because, though copious amounts of physical pain are a factor, 
Brazilian waxes are right up there with changing the oil in my car and my taxes as things I'm utterly proud to do for myself.